Shalabosa. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Let your kingdom come and your will be done, Father. Lord, any Anything, oh God, that would come against your kingdom, oh Lord. Any spirit, oh God. Any flesh, oh Lord. Any man, oh God. It is doomed to fail, God. Oh, No weapon formed against us shall prosper. The very gates of hell cannot stand against your church, Father. Loose us today, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Oh, let the chains of bondage be broken, Father. Let the chains of addiction be broken. Let the chains of slavery be broken. The chains that bind us, oh God, that keep us in Egypt, Father. That keep us in the world, oh God. That keep us in the past, oh God. Lord Jesus, let those chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Oh, there is power in your name, Jesus. There is power in your name. Oh, move in this place today, Father. Have your way, oh God. Have your way, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, let your kingdom come and your will be done, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. In this last couple of minutes before service opens up, if we could, let's do something together for those of you that are in here. If we would, let's all stand together and we're going to pray over each other. I'm not asking you to step out of where you are. I'm not asking you to walk across and lay your hands on somebody. But just think of somebody else here that you can see or that you can't see. Somebody who may be here in this place. Somebody who may be at home or somebody who may be elsewhere who has a need. And I want you to stretch your hand as best as you can towards that person. Not yourself. Not somebody sitting immediately next to you, somebody across the room or somebody elsewhere. Just stretch your hand as best as you can towards that person, and we're going to pray for those needs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. Lord, we come before you today, God. Will you know that you are not limited by space, oh God? You are not limited by distance, Father. Lord, you spoke to the centurion in the Gospels, and, and you told him that you would come and heal his servant, and he said, you don't even have to come into my home. You don't have to do anything because I am a man under authority and I know that if you speak it, Father, that it will be done. God, we know that if you speak it today that it will be done, God, no matter the distance, no matter the separation between us, Father, and we speak it today. We claim it in faith, oh God. Lord Jesus, you always, you always respond to faith, Father. Because you are our God. You are our Father. And so we speak today, oh God, we claim in faith that need that we're thinking of, oh God, for that person that we're praying for. Whether it's a lost loved one, oh God, they shall be saved, oh God. Whether it's someone that needs a healing, oh God, they shall be healed. He got out of somebody that needs direction, somebody that needs deliverance, somebody that needs salvation. It shall be done. We agree together, Father. 
Jesus. We worship you, Father. We worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. We are going to transition into service, but let's not stop there. Let's give him some worship right now as the praise singers are coming, as the worship team is coming. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we glorify your name. We magnify you. We lift you up. We exalt you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Move in this place today. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you honor, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, church. Let's worship today and invite the Spirit of the Lord in. You serve an awesome God today. Amen. We're going to start things a little bit slower today. The Spirit of the Lord is here. We've been praying, but I don't. I, I know some of us are coming in and, and trying to get focused. We're still trying to get focused in here. Let's just let's just seek the Lord today. Let's worship Him because He's an awesome God. We're going to start things slow and just thank Him for what He's done for us. Amen. My God is awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
God. My God is awesome, and He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God, my God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weak. So praise His holy name. Let's do that right now. Come on, just lift up some praise to Him. Hallelujah. Come on, give Him more than a hand clap. Open your mouth and talk to Him. He wants to hear your voice. He wants to hear what's coming from your heart. Hallelujah. Oh, you're worthy, Jesus. You're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. And you are awesome this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. And you are worthy of our praise, so to you our lives we raise, because you are awesome in this place, mighty God. Come on, let's sing that you are awesome. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Come on, church, he's here. Let's acknowledge it. You are awesome. His presence is here. You are worthy. You are worthy of our praise. So to you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place. Sing it like that again. You are awesome, Lord. You are awesome in this place. Come on, that's why we came to meet with Him and acknowledge how great He is. Abba Father, you are worthy. So, Lord, I, de- I submit my life to you. I declare you're Lord of my life. Yes, you are, Lord. Come on, sing it strong. You are awesome. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy. You are worthy of our praise. So to you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place. Come on, sing with all your heart. your heart. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father, and you are worthy of our praise. So to you our lives we raise, and you are awesome in this place, my, come on just one more time, you are, you are awesome in this place.
Amen. If you're thankful for an awesome God, can you give him a shout of praise? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. presence of the Lord is here in this place today. At this time, I'm going to ask for you to prepare your offering, your tithes. We're going to take up our weekly tithes and our offering. While you are getting that ready, um, I do want to mention that this is Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day, we honor those that have given their lives for in service for this country, the men and women that have done so over the years. Uh, many of us would not be here today if it were not for those men and women. Many of us know uh, men and women that have done so, that have given their lives, so we honor them today. And I think it would be appropriate if we would just give them a, a hand clap uh, for everybody that has given their lives in service. I'm thankful to live in America. I'm thankful to be in this country and I'm thankful for all of the people that have gone before me that have paved the way for me to be here today. Amen. If you would, let's stand together. We're going to pray over this offering. And when you are ready to give, if you have uh, anything to give um, as far as cash or checks, then you can bring that and drop that into the baskets above uh, here at the altar. If you would like to give online, you can do that as well through PushPay. Um, if you would like to send that over the web, then there are links um, to our services, to giving, uh, that you can follow to do that. So let's pray over this offering. Lord, we thank you, Father, for your spirit. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, O Lord, for this weekend, oh God, we thank you for what it represents to us, Father. Lord, we thank you for all that you've done for us, all that you're doing, and all that you're going to do, Father. We thank you, oh God. We ask you to bless this offering. Multiply it, oh Lord, for your kingdom, oh God, for your purpose, oh God. Bless it, oh Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Increase it and use it, oh God, as you would see fit, Father. Lord Jesus, bless each and every person, oh God, the gift and the giver, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Move throughout the rest of this service today, oh God. Speak to our hearts and our minds, oh Lord. Oh us up to receive you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let's bring our offerings to the Lord. In Jesus' name.
worship deeper than before. I gotta shout louder. Shout louder.
free. He broke the bonds of prison for me. So I'm glory bound by Jesus to see. Glory to God, he set me free.
sing it again. He loves it. You are awesome. Sing it now. Yes, you are awesome. He doesn't get tired of hearing your praise. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. Hallelujah. You are awesome, Lord. You are awesome. Jesus, you are. You are awesome. Hallelujah. You are awesome. Just a few more times. You are awesome. Jesus. 
that's your heart's desire, just tell it now. More love. I need more of you, Jesus. You gotta have less of you and less of me. Jesus, less of me and more of you. Come on, say, I will worship. I will worship you. than a song. It's a prayer. John the Baptist said, he must increase and I must decrease. That's how I get more of him. Lord, I pray that you would lessen me. Give me less of me and give me more of you. Not my desires, not my will, Lord, but what you have for me. Your will, God. Say, I will worship. I will worship you with all of my heart. I will worship you.
there's a sovereign presence of the Lord in this room right now. Let's reverence His presence. house right now. Let's just med meditate on that, what we feel right now. All across this building. We just close your eyes. Jesus is in this house today. He knew who was going to be here right now. He knew who was going to be kneeling at this altar. Lord, you've already prepared it for us, Lord. This was waiting on us today to walk in this house. Thank you for what you prepared for us today, Jesus. Oh, God. Jesus, speak in this room today, God. Hallelujah. Jesus, I speak against every fear in this room right now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, you are a healer. You are a way maker. And Lord, I speak right now healings across this room. Those who are sick in their body, receive your healing right now. Because by his stripes, you are healed. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. Come on, lift your hands if you need your healing. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. I believe miracles are fixing to happen right now in the presence of the Lord, right now. If you need God in your heart, I want you to lift your hands. God can fill you full of the Holy Ghost right now. In the name of Jesus, receive ye the gift of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, move in this house right now. Come on. There's a power in this house. Come on, there's anointing in this house. The anointing destroys the yokes that the enemy has put on you. The enemy's tried to bind you down. The enemy's tried to pull you back. But I'm going to tell you, the anointing that's in this house, it will destroy every yoke the enemy has tried to put on you and your family. This day is a day of deliverance for you. This day is a day of setting free from the bondage that's had you held captive. Come on, the devil has bound somebody's mind today. The devil has played you so many days, but today is your day. Today is your day to come out. Come on. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Don't be scared to receive it. Just receive it. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Move across this sanctuary. Do it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Do it, God. Jesus, you are a way maker. You are a promise keeper, oh God. In Jesus' name, God, you are in this house. My friend, I hope you feel what we feel right now across this house. I hope your spirit is there with it right now. I hope you can feel the anointing is moving. Oh, it's in this house today. The Lord is in this house. Yes, he is. The Lord is in this house. Lord, you're welcome in this house, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we love you, Jesus. Oh, God, we love you. God, we love you. God, we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We don't want to rush the Lord today. It's still early. Come on, if you need something from God, I want you to just express it to God right now. God, this is what I need. Lord, my family needs to be saved. My husband, my wife, my children. Lord, this is what I need today, oh God. Lord, you hear my cry. Come on, God hears you. He knows where you're at. He knows what you need. Oh God, we have not because we ask not, church. If you ask it, you shall receive today in the name of Jesus. Receive your miracle. Hallelujah. Mm, my, 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 my. Come on. 
Right now, we need to make a massive altar across this place. Everybody, maybe you don't want to come to the front. That's okay, but your seat can become your altar. Right now, make a massive altar in this place. Say, God, here I am again. I need you once again, oh God. Ha, ha, da, da, bo, shot. Yes, Lord, in your name, God. Lord, let your spirit move in this house. Not our will, God, but thy will be done. Do it, Lord, in your name, Jesus. Jesus. Your name, God, in your name, Jesus. Lord, you are here right now, God, in this place, God. You are proving me, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is for you, oh God. It's your place, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you. I say unto thee, it is me. Why do you doubt? Have I not told you that I will go with thee to the end? I have been here. Why have you doubted? Don't be fearful of what man has made. But fear me, because I am coming. I'm coming for the church. I'm coming for the bride. It is me. Why have you doubted? Why have you pulled back? Push like you've always pushed. Live like you've always lived. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming for the church. Be ye ready. In a time you think not, I will come. And I will receive my bride. That where I am, there they will be also. Ah, 
Jesus. Come on, church. The Lord is in this house right now. The one that you came for today is here. I feel to do something that, that I have never done before. Is that all right? I just feel the lead, the lead of the Holy Ghost right now. If you repented of your sins today in this altar already, I want you to come and get ready. Where's my wife at, Sister Hunt? I know we got one over here that's going to get baptized. Christy, will you come meet my wife right here in the black dress right here? If you all meet right here, we're going to baptize Christy. She's got a hold of us through a friend. She want to find a church that a baptize her in Jesus' name. She's ready to go down in Jesus' name. If you repented of your sins today, you need to follow them back to the baptistry. You need to go, we got robes we need to put on you right now. I'm telling you, this is how sincere it is. I don't know how much time we got left, church. I don't, I don't like to scare people into an altar. I don't like to scare people into a baptistry, but I'm just telling you a fact today. God's is, is about to come back. God's getting ready to come back for a church that has repented and has been baptized in Jesus' name for the mission of their sins and have received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh, Brother Paul Irvin, I can't wait any longer. I was going to wait and baptize Christy at the end of this service, but the Spirit of the Lord just spoke and said, put her in the baptistry right now. And if you're here, you need to be baptized. Come on up. Come on up this door right here. We baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's how important it is. If you backslid away from God, you need to redo your first works over. It's time to get your heart right. It's time to get your life right. Hey, church, it's time to quit playing church. I'm not playing church today. I came with one mission, and that was to give God glory, number one. But my mission is to see somebody change somebody's life miraculously change. If you're in this house today and you feel like you're ready, I want you to come. I want you to get your heart ready. Music, give me some music today while we're waiting on them to get baptized uh, but I come today to tell you if you're ready today is the day of salvation today don't wait any longer if you repented of your sins it's time to get in the water it's time to get yourself baptized in the name of Jesus Christ uh, I had a sermon that I had I was going to preach today but you guys have already preached my sermon coming to an altar today I was going and I'll, I'll probably preach it again some other day but I was going to preach on the need of the altar Please don't social distance yourself from, the, from an altar. Don't social distance yourself from a place uh, that where you can get your healing, you can get your miracle, uh, you can get your life together, uh, you can get things changed. Uh, the altar is a place uh, of a life-changing experience. Uh, and whatever you do today, uh, you need an altar in your life. Uh, don't social distance yourself from the altar. Another thought come to my mind just a moment ago. They're telling us to stay six feet apart. We're trying to practice that. The doctors are practicing too, amen? Sometimes they get it, sometimes they don't. But I thought about David. The ark of God was taken away from the children of Israel. David went back to get the ark. When he brought the ark back, you know what happened? When he brought the ark back, the Bible said every six paces. I don't, I don't really know what, maybe that's... I don't know if that's three feet or what, every pace. I don't know. I hadn't studied it out, but I do know this. He said every six paces, David paused for a moment, and David began to worship because the ark of God was coming back home. Even to the point his wife looked out at the window and said, why are you acting like that? Why are you in the middle of all of that acting foolish and stuff? And David said, you don't understand. I'm bringing back uh, something that's cherishable, that, that has a, the spirit of the Lord, the presence of the Lord. And he took off his robe of king, uh, kingship and, and he danced mildly right there so his wife could see him. It's not about who I am. Church, I come today to tell you it's not about my name and my title, uh, but it's about Jesus Christ. Uh, and every six paces, uh, I feel like just walking and praising God today. It's in God you are everywhere. God, you're everything. God, everything in my heart, everything in my life, you belong to me, God. I thank you for it, oh God. What an awesome God. No wonder somebody says, I've got to praise him. Brother Hunt, I've got to praise him. I've got to praise him. Just so you know, I've, I got really cute, pretty bad in the last couple months because I made the statement the doors were not locked and the altars were not closed. I haven't locked these altars down at all. They've been open a whole lot. But my question is, where have you been? 
I hope you had an altar at your house. I hope you made an altar somewhere. If it's your recliner or your couch or your coffee table or your, your chair, I hope you have an altar because here you're pastor today. We all have to have an altar. You're not going to make it without an altar. I don't care what they say. You can't make it without an altar. You've got to have a place that you can sacrifice. What am I sacrificing, Brother Hunt? You're going to, you may have to sacrifice yourself. The Bible says that you're going to become a living sacrifice. Sometimes, Brother Chuck Kelly, I have to lay myself across an altar and say, God, here I am again. Here I am again, oh God, I can't make it without an altar. <laughs> oh God, i got to have you, Jesus. Some of you have come to this altar this morning. I want you to know you came to the right place. The altar is a precious place just to pour out yourself to God. And say, God, I can't make it no more. I'm going to tell you right now, some of us need to let our pride go right now. We need to hit our face on this altar. And we need to cry until we see a difference and we feel a difference. And we need to know that God's going to change my life. God's going to change my heart. And he's the only man who can. And God, I come today to stretch myself across. And if you're in this house and you need to come, come on, stretch yourself out. You say, I can't get that close. I don't care. Make your chair an altar. Make, make something an altar. Somebody needs to pray. Somebody needs to touch God. We got plenty of room at an altar. Is there somebody else? Are you ready to say, hey, it's for me and my house. We're going to make an altar. We're going to come to God. We're going to give it to God. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, I love Oshadaya. Come on, if you don't need prayer, you should be praying for somebody else that needs it. You need to pray for Brother Hunt. I surely need it today. I need something in my heart today. I need God to strengthen me where I'm at. Bless these that are coming, God. They see the need for their family to be, be sacrificed at an altar. Your only son, bring him on. Bring him on and stretch him out, Abraham. Come on, make an altar. I don't feel like I should kneel where you're at. That's fine. But we need to make a massive altar in this place right now. You need an altar. Sound room, make an altar. Lean across that computer. Lean across something. Close your eyes. Say, God, I can't go without you. Come on, we can, we're going to sanitize ourselves. We're going to do all the good stuff. But you're not going to make it without the altar, friend, regardless of what you do. You're going to have to have an altar to you in your heart, your life. Everything, yes, Jesus. Lord, I give. I give it all to you, Lord. Is there anybody else ready to be baptized? Are you ready? Are you ready to give your life to Jesus? 110%? You got to give it all to Him. If you repented of your sins, I wouldn't wait another Sunday. I wouldn't wait until Uncle Jill could be here. I wouldn't wait until Uncle Jack could be here. But I would come as fast as I can and I would give myself to God. This is your day. This is your day that you will never forget when you give your life to God. Well, I'm so excited about Christy today. Christy posted on Facebook, Oh, I wish I had a church that would baptize me. I need to be baptized mightily. And the lady that we baptized spoke up and said, Terry Hunter do it at Carnival First Pentecostal Church. Tagged me on that post. And I said, I sure will, Christy. You meet me anytime you want to. We tried to meet up Friday, but it didn't work. But, but today, I told her, if you'll come to church. Well, this is beautiful, guys. When Christy comes out of the water, Robert, that's, when Christy comes out of the water today, she's going to be a brand new lady. God takes the old and he makes it new. You're fixing to have a brand new lady in your life today. I come to tell you today, if you need something from God, don't put it on. Well, I'm worried about what people would think. Who cares what people think at this moment right now? The only person I care who thinks is what God thinks. God, if I need to get in that water, if I just need to confirm something, if I just need to make sure this is what I need to do, I would run to this altar and I would do it today. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. In the name of Jesus, let's believe it for Sister Christy today. Lord, give her the touch she needs today, God. I 
Hallelujah. Lord, you're able to bless her mightily, God, right now. Jesus, we love you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. We praise you, God. Come on, church, let's pray with her right now. Jesus, Lord, as she comes out of that water today, I pray, God, that you fill her full of your presence, God. Christy Roder, upon the confession of your yes, faith and in repentance towards God, I now baptize you in the mighty name of Jesus for the Hallelujah. remission of your sins. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless her, Lord. That's it, Christy. Give it to it. Go ahead. Receive the Holy Ghost. You don't have to hold back. God, fill it full right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, church. Let's rejoice with Christy today. That's what more the devil cannot have.
I told him, don't, it, that's okay. Whatever you want to do, we can do it. If you want to do that, that's fine. If he's been baptized before, he just wants to recommit. He just feels it strong in his life. And that's all right. That's all right, guys. But I, today is a very important day to know that I got to make sure my calling and my election is sure. I got to make sure everything is right in my heart. Before I leave this room today, I got to make sure if God calls me home today that everything is all right. I pray it that you can feel the same way before you leave today. I pray that you feel that and you're so strong in your heart that before you leave out those glass doors today that you can say, I know it for sure. If Jesus comes back today, I'm ready to go home. Friend, if you've got any doubt in your mind, I would hit an altar and I would say, God, forgive me. And then I would get in the water and I would get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why God is pushing so strong for that today. We don't do this every Sunday. But I feel like there's a reason. God has something for everything to happen. Even what we're going through today, in this day and time we're in, there's a reason things are happening the way they're happening. And I want to tell you, God is preparing us for something that we're not going to be able to handle without an altar. We're not going to be able to handle without a preacher to preach something in our lives. He's preparing us for something. It, I'm going to be honest with you. What we've been through the last couple months, it has not been nothing to what we're going to face. Friend, if you can't run with a, with a footman, how are you going to expect to run with a horseman? It's coming, friend. You better read your Bible. We're moving quickly into the end time, quickly into the last days. We better teach our children how to pray. We better teach them how important an altar is, how important the sanctuary of God is, where the presence of the Lord begins to fall into a house that we call the house of God when he falls in. My friend, we better teach our children the importance of rededicating every service, every opportunity that the altar call is made. It's important to make sure your calling and your election is sure. While this last one's getting ready to be baptized, if there's any more, you're welcome to come. But I want to ask you one question. And I'm going to look across this sanctuary. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you ready? Are you ready? I wouldn't wait any longer if I wasn't ready. I'd push my way through my pride, through people. What are they going to think about me? What are they going? Are they going to understand what I'm doing? Remember. Every person that gets baptized, they're not doing it for you. And if you get baptized, you're not doing it for nobody else. But you're doing it for yourself. That yourself will be right. That you'll be ready when that time comes. Would you worship the Lord in another course, Brother Brent? We're going to get ready to baptize this young man in the name of Jesus. I'm going to the baptistry if you want to follow me. This could be your day. Sing it, please.
baptizing Brother Daniel Brummett. He's felt in his heart and in his spirit that this is something that he needs to do through obedience to the Spirit because the Bible says that it's the Spirit of God that worketh in us to do and to will according to his will. So he is being obedient to this. Daniel Brummett, today we baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and a rededication of your life and your ministry to Jesus yes. Christ. In Jesus' name. Yes, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless him, oh God. Go ahead and rejoice with Brother Brummett today.
Dwayne McGovern, upon your confession of your faith and the penance towards God, I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Hallelujah! Praise God! Good Holy Ghost! Praise the Lord! Jesus, we love you, Lord! Oh, yes, 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 yes! Bless the Lord! Bless the Lord! Hallelujah! Oh, we love you, Jesus! They're doing something very important right now. What is that, Brother Hunt? They've already been baptized. They're making sure their election, their calling election is sure. Making sure that when Jesus comes back, everything's well. They're not doubting God the first time. They're doubting herself. Some people say they shouldn't doubt God. They're not doubting God at all. They're doubting herself. And they want to make sure they're right. You better write that down for the video. They're, they're not doubting God. Come on, we better know ourself will let us down. Ourself will do things that we, we get out of ordinary, out of our out of our comfort zone. We get messed up. But we're gonna believe it. We got I think three more that's about to be baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless them, God, in Jesus' name. Madison Vernon, upon the confession of your faith and the repentance towards God, I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. has been baptized I don't know how many times but she just wants to make sure everything is fine church I can remember she first came in God's brought her a long way this, this is not going to do anything but move Courtney up to another level in her life and I believe when she comes out of this water she's going to be stronger than ever before in the name of Jesus 
How many believe we're in this church? Let's believe we're easily getting baptized. This is powerful. This is family coming to our church. This is family that's being born again, again. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Sister Courtney, hold your nose. Put your other hand on top of my hand. Courtney Bryant, upon confessing your faith and repentance toward God, I rebaptize you today in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ for the remission of all of your sins in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord all the days of her life. Feel the hedge, God, around her. Yet you are a liar. You back up and leave her alone. She is a child of the King. We believe it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, I love you, Jesus.
baptisms. Wednesday night back at 7 o'clock. You don't want to miss it. We had an awesome Wednesday night service last Wednesday. Come at 7 o'clock. Let's expect a great time. Tent revival starts next Friday night. Friday night we're going to be in a tent revival unless it's storming and thunder. We'll be in here. But we're going to have a great time. I believe, I believe it's time to come out of the, these four walls and, and let, the, let the city hear us. They heard us on our live, our live uh, parking lot service, but we want to we get out and let them hear the word of God. We got many coming. We got Baptist churches coming. We're calling it Community Tent Revival. So if you know anybody that wants to come, invite them and say, come on, 7 o'clock Friday and Saturday and 11.30 Sunday. God bless. We love you. I would say shake hands and be friendly, but let's do it. Let's do it nicely. God bless you. We'll see you Wednesday night.